Tired of grinding and want to hit 99 overall, get maskets or just want all your badges? Go to Account Palace for the safest and legit way to buy or sell NBA 2K21 account. Link will be in the description. What's going on guys, welcome back to the channel for this quick video. Today we'll talk about how Clamp's badge affects your lateral quickness on current gen. For those who don't know, I'll be making current gen videos every now and then for the next couple of months. So now let's get into it. So now for the test, we'll have two batches, one for smaller builds which is around 6'3 and have 75 lateral quickness and another one will be 6'10 with 60 lateral quickness. I made two batches because last 2k20, I found out that Clamp's badge benefits smaller builds more. So let's check if it's going to be the same case in 2k21. So now for the smaller builds, as you can see here, the increments between batch upgrades are pretty much the same, meaning there's no sweet spot. Now for the bigger builds, it's going to be the same thing, no sweet spot as well. Now let's have a look at the comparisons. And as you can see here, there's not much difference between smaller builds and bigger builds. So in conclusion, in terms of lateral quickness boost, Clamp's badge has no sweet spot, and it has the same impact on smaller and bigger builds. We all know that there's some other use of Clamp's badge, which is to force cutoff animations, which I will cover on the next video. So link for that video will be down below as soon as I upload it. And just a quick announcement guys, the membership function of the channel is already up and running. And for more details, link will be down below. So that's all for the video. If you like it, please smash that like button. And don't forget to drop by the channel for some other videos. And as always, stay safe and happy gaming guys. Peace.